Most of us are familiar with the 18 Pokemon types, or 19 or 20, but quite a few Pokemon moves have their own subtypes or unique categories that they fall into. Slicing moves are moves powered up by the sharpness ability, and they're pretty obvious. Stuff like Slash or Sacred Sword. There's even less obvious stuff like Population Bomb, since it can be read as Mouse Cut in Japanese. Whoa, whoa, hey! And very similarly, Iron Fist powers up punching moves, and Strong Jaw powers up biting moves. And these two have their very obvious tells. Dancing moves are great, allowing the spirit of Tierno to live on. They activate Oracorio's Dancer, and they all have dance in the name. Plus, there's Aqua Step and Plangorous Soul. Hell yeah, Como! -o. Exploding moves are stopped by the damp ability, and there aren't very many of them. Self Destruct and Explosion are obvious, but there's also Misty Explosion and Mind Blown. Come on, why would you want to stop this? It's hilarious! There are wind moves that activate wind power and wind rider. So between this flying and bird, the sky sure has a lot of representation in terms of types. There's also powder and spore moves that get blocked by safety goggles and grass types, pulse moves and aura sphere that get powered up by mega launcher, bomb and ball moves that don't affect bulletproof, and probably the biggest category, sound base moves. It gets all this, and yet Whisper can just shut it down easily. So put more respect on his name.